Hey everybody, how's it going here? I'm with Matt Silver. Hello, we and of course, Grant back. back. We got Grant back with us. He's Grant's back, everybody. Isn't that great? Oh, storage is already We're here at the Cinemark right now, and we're about to go watch Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, the biggest film of the year. Isn't that right, everybody? Yes, sir. I love the original Spider Verse. I think it was a game changer for both animation and storytelling. And I, I get a little bit curious about this new one because I, I thought the first one was fine on its own. But I really enjoyed it. What do you think, Austin? Yeah, I, I watched it last night. I really enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. So I'm really looking forward to this movie. What about you there, H. Morgan? I've, I've, uh, well, I've seen it actually. I've seen the first one, not this one. Oh, that's good to hear. So we're really excited for this movie. Um, I'll leave you all my thoughts when I come back. And Matt Silver will give you his thoughts on his channel. This is LTM and Matt Silver and Grant. And we'll be right back. See ya. Or I'll be right back, actually. Hey guys, it's me, LTM. I just got, well, okay, I didn't just get back from the film, but I was going to record yesterday, and I just got, of course, I got really tired. So, I'm just going to give you all my thoughts on Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I just want to say right now, if you haven't seen this film yet, go watch it, man. I mean, it is fascinatingly great. This movie is a work of art, which... It's very rare for an animated sequel to surpass the first film because the first film I love a lot and this movie I love a hell of a lot more. So basically, um, let's get to the good stuff. There's a lot to talk about. The story is very well written and it's very interesting and it's a little complex when you get down to it. They do, they do try to explain it in a very simple way. Um, I don't want to tell you the story because there's a lot of spoilers going into this movie, so I just want to let that out. So, the story is very interesting. Although complex, it is very interesting and easy to follow. The characters are likable. You love every single one of them. Um, some of the old characters that do come back, you, you still care about them, and they're very, very likable, and they're just as strong as they were in the last film. I love the new characters too. Uh, one of them being the villain, uh, the Spot. I really like the Spot and what, and the first half, of what he does in the first half of the film. It's very great villain in it too. The cameos and all the all the callbacks to other Spider-Man movies, which that's what this movie does most of the time, is just pitch perfect. I think the movie had the perfect story to tell these kind of sort of cameos. Kind of reminds me of No Way Home in that sort of sense. But to be fair. Across the Spider-Verse has its own unique identity. The animation is just as good. I did have a friend complain that they didn't use one style, but I think the one thing you got to remember with Spider-Verse is that Spider-Verse is all about stylization and and animation. It wasn't really about well, it was it was about story and stylization, but it was but the style was was the reason why people liked the first film. Um, stylize eight, the, the animation and all the other styles that they use in this movie. Like, there's even one scene, which I'm, it's not really much of a spoil. There's even a Lego scene in the first half of the movie, and it's really well done. It's Which makes sense, because Phil Lord and Chris Miller worked on the Lego movie, so I kind of figured we'd get some Lego references at some point. Which kind of made me think, I wonder if this is connected to the Lego movie universe. That'd be interesting. But, other than that... The, the styles, the animations, and all the visuals that in this film are fantastic. Really fits the tone of the movie. The tone is much darker, too. Uh, I know the first one was dark, too, but this one, it, it feels like a superhero film. It feels genuine, and it feels real and alive. Um, th there are some good callbacks to the first film and a lot of other Spider-Man stuff. The soundtrack is really good. I really like the soundtrack of this movie. Now, the one thing to keep in mind when going into this movie is that this is a part one to a storyline. This is kind of like Fast X or Avengers Infinity War. This is a part one to another storyline that they're going to connect in the in the second in the next film. So, if you're the one thing I will say is that if you're not happy with the ending, which I won't spoil if you haven't seen it yet, you're probably not going to like it as much, or probably a little confused by it. But other than that, though, the movie is very well done for the most part. The voice acting is very genuine, too. I really liked Miles Morales in this film. You kind of feel bad. The stuff with Spider-Woman or Gwen, or I forgot her name, um, you feel bad for her and the struggle she goes through, and it's a really interesting struggle. Um, the characters have really great chemistry and really great uh, interactions with each other. Um, like I said, this is a... 
I, I don't want to pray to, to talk too much about this movie because this, everybody's probably online talking about it already. This is a great film, man. Probably the best animated kids film of the year. This is the Dark Knight and The Empire Strikes Back of animated sequels. If you like the first film, if you love Marvel, or if you just love films in general, go watch it, man. It's still out in theaters right now. I'm about to go back to go clock into work. It's probably going to be a busy day. And it's, it's really good. Just go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. I definitely give it a 10 out of 10. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out now. All right, that's Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I do have an editorial being planned sometime next week. Next Friday, mostly, is what I'm heading up to. Please keep an eye on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please subscribe, comment below, let me know. What's your favorite Spider-Man movie? Please subscribe, comment below, let me know. This is LTM signing out. I'll see you guys later.